All right, guys, and welcome to another beer review. And today we're going over to the. I think these guys are brewed by Charles and Wells, or it's a Charles and Wells brand. But we're looking at the Courage Superior Ale Directors, traditionally brewed to the Directors Standard. And uh, terrible, terrible lighting decision. Sometimes it works quite well. Sometimes it just doesn't. But um, yeah, so. Beer is clocking in at 4.5%. Oh God, I've messed this one up already, haven't I? And I'll quickly uh, read you. Yeah, it says charleswells.co.uk. So, originally brewed exclusively for the directors of the brewery. This amber ale, yay, is full of character with a distinctive spicy hop aroma. The perfect bounce of crystal malt with crisp, fruity, nutty hops and a lasting finish. Uh, nothing on the neck label in terms of interest information aside from a nice Courage logo. And uh, yeah, I do like the, the look of the, the label on this one. Nice colour scheme, lovely like sort of purple with metallic elements to it. But um, yeah, so I think most people know the Courage stuff. Um, and I think most people know Charles and Wells. I mean, they've got the the distinct bottles and uh yeah awesome crown on this one i do have to say but i, can't, I don't think i've ever had this beer before so uh let's see what we get with it if i can get the, the lid off so i picked this up from a local bargain booze as part of the three for five pound deal great way to get yourselves into beer get you know get to know flavors and stuff and work out which styles you want to get into because, you know, free beers for £5. You can't go wrong. And then you've got supermarkets where it's like 4 for £6. And then you've got other places that do their own little offers. So, um, yeah. not. To, I, I'm actually really impressed with what's going on in my local supermarkets, off licences and shops. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a really intriguing time to be a beer lover. But uh, beer in the glass. And, uh, yeah, that's crystal clear sort of amber colour. Has that sort of rusty orange look to it. Um, yeah, like I said, crystal clear, nice carbonation. Head didn't last very long, but from what I could tell, it's like a an off-white sort of eggshell colour. And uh, yeah, beer looks a little bit dark aside from the light shining through on that side and stuff like that. But um, yeah, nice copper looking beer. So let's see what we get on the aroma. Ooh. And it's got that sort of like liqueur sort of aroma to it. Almost has actually like a sherry tone. Not in like a boozy sense, but that like smell of like a good sweet cooking sherry almost. Big chewy malt profile, nice and sweet, nutty, caramelized sort of sweet treats that sort of thing has a sort of whole wheat loaf aroma to it or like a malted loaf yeah that's a really nice pleasant smelling beer it's like it's quite homely in a way and comforting and then you've got this lovely sort of like sweet slightly dry almost sherry like character or brandy no sherry yeah, sherry, cooking sherry. Sweet cooking sherry. A little bit cakey as well. But yeah, smells good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. And much like the ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend... It's a little bit weak. Yeah, quite a thin body, quite watery. Sort of reminds me of like um, you've not shut the, the lid on a bottle of sparkling water properly. See, I'm quick witted with stuff like that. And uh, <laughs> I don't think my ex will be watching my beer reviews, but I probably shouldn't make comments like that. 
I should stop this video right now because I don't want to get anyone into any trouble. But um, although that would be a lot more entertaining than this actual beer. I mean, it's not bad. It has got a long lingering bitterness on the back end. It has got that slight chestnutty sort of flavour to it. But that body just does not do any favours for the beer itself. Um, it's got like slightly autumnal vibes to it. There is a very subtle spicy hop character. But to me it's all about the, the malt characters. And if this had a bolder body, this beer would be so much better. Um, it just, to me, feels like a lot of real ale brewed amber ales. It's just quite meh and plain and... A bit weak, not bold enough. I mean, perfectly drinkable. Nothing offensive in terms of flavour profile. A little bit sweet. That malted loaf character is coming out quite a bit. And it almost gets like a little bit foamy as you're drinking it. Yeah, it, it just needs to be a little bit more bulky. And you've got an absolutely wonderful beer here. It's pouring it. I mean, even when I'm pouring it, it looks like it's a bit thin. But as you can see, now that it's all in that head's reinforced, and yeah, it's sort of got that like pale eggshell look to it. It's got like quite a chalkiness to it as well, like a powderiness almost. Like the sensation on my tongue is like. When you've not mixed in like a powder properly. Because it's not a flavour, it's it's a feeling. Like, you know, you like dissolve something in water. And you get like a little bit at the end that's not been mixed properly. It's like Alka-Seltzer water. That's what this is reminding me of. That sort of thing. Like a, a tablet dropped in some soda water that hasn't dissolved properly. But it just happens to have a multi flavour and it's all about that malt, beautiful malt character just the body's too weak and you know you gotta go through this quite quickly <coughs> excuse me and at 4.8% you know it's perfectly sessionable um, I could definitely see this being a lot more satisfying on cask I'm not too sure if this is this recipe has been changed over the years if um They've, because it's in a much wider market, they've had to like literally water it down. But um, it's just too weak for me, body wise. Perfectly drinkable. Got to enjoy the rest of it. But I don't think I'd go out of my way to pick up another bottle of this. So, in terms of a rating, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. So, if you've tried Directors, the Courage Superior Ale from Wells and Young, give me your take on it. Any recommendations? Uh, for beers similar to this or your favourite Charles and Wells beers that you want to look out for in the future, put those down below. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got a Charles and Wells playlist, but I've got a couple of reviews on the channel, so just search for it. Um, check out my Amber Ale playlist, check out my Real Ale playlist, uh, check out, of course, Courage and Charles Wells, and if anybody in my friends, any anybody in my friends, any of my friends have reviewed this one here on BeerTube, I will put their reviews down below also. So, um, yeah, I actually literally don't know if I should upload this video now because of uh, some really snarky, bitchy comments that I made. But, oh well, such is life, I suppose. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. I can't believe I just winked. That is weird.